as well as dolls on Mercari. I'm not gonna like go into detail on every single listing on Mercari, um, but just know you'll you'll have the insider info, you'll have the insider deeds. Um, so first up, I'm gonna start with this beauty. It was recommended to me by Lacey. This is Twyla. Twyla, Twyla, Twyla. And she is going to the creepover party, okay? She's going to the creepover party. And I feel like we should have a creepover party. Everyone should have a creepover party. Our creepover party must-haves are our bunny cap, our bunny ear cap, our bunny ear cap, the ring light, her monster midnight snack. told me this when I showed you this I think in like a Target or Amazon haul but I was like I'm dead as fuck that her bunny is named just Dustin just little dusty buns over here and you guys commented and you were like bestie it's like dust bunny dust bunny Dustin 
And to that I say, most certainly it is. That's exactly, you're right. And it still just tickles me. I don't understand. <laughs> like I do understand, but like, I don't know. I would have called him Bun Bun or Bunny. <laughs> And they're clearly very close, though. I'm not trying to... Like, look at the way he looks at her. So, I'm not trying to offend anyone involved. But, I would say she's probably my favorite. I do. I love my girl, Laguna Blue. She's... She's coming up soon, don't worry. Um, but, just something about, like, the name. It's Wyla, not Dustin. Um, the little pop it's hard. With this, it's, it's got like such detail on this stuff. Intro to talismans. Like all of our little details. This is a book called Intro to Talismans. This is our little strawberry pop tart, but it has a spider web on it and it's making a scary face. And her coffee cup is even teal and purple. Her phone, of course, is the coffin with the bunny ears. Her little mask and backpack. Dustin. And then the purple silk bunny cap. Bunny ear cap. She's cute. I think some of her is glow in the dark and I think that's what's supposed to be one of the exciting things about the creep over party stuff because there's a little note on the bottom, a little note and then says glow in the dark feature will last longer if you do not expose the product to intense heat or direct sunlight for long periods of time. Just our glowing girl. Glowing girl. And I'm obsessed. Okay. Next up, I want to show you another one that is not one that I had a duplicate of, so it's also not going to be on Mercari, but pretty much everything else should be. And this is the Deuce and Frankie coffee break. This is just so cute to me. Uh, I love a good coffee moment. Look how sweet and cute. And I mean, if you think they look good here, for some reason, the backs of these boxes is just the backs are iconic to me. Like the way they photograph the dolls in such high quality. It really reminds me of just like my childhood and like looking at dolls and doll packaging, like Barbies and that sort of thing. So here's their, their little coffee shop. Okay. And it looks like, it looks like Deuce works there, but I, I can't tell if Frankie works there or if she's just his friend coming to get a coffee. You know, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, here's the answer in the little Deuce and Frankie. Frankie needs a spookachino ASAP. Frankie needs a spookachino, spookachino, spookachino ASAP. Okay, calm down, Frankie. Juice quickly whips up a drink so Frankie can drink. 
Shulton Bolt to class. Uh, I thought they were co workers. I don't understand. Uh, justice for Jews. He needs someone to help him in the coffee. will overcome this moment because honestly I don't even think I thought this was Frankie when I bought it like I don't know what I was thinking I was like oh. I saw him and I was like oh, I haven't seen these ones before and it's a coffee shop like anyway which it says right here Frankie's looking so stylish with her silver purse. It's got like pink and blue and green lightning bolts on it. And she's got her gorgeous, gorgeous boots. I love that she's got like a tall over the knee boot and then a short booty to just give like a mismatched different vibe and also show off. They're not imperfections, they're really perfections. But yeah. She's got her it's giving clueless, honey. It's giving Alicia Silverstone. We love the plaid, yellow and pink, and blue and black, with our, like, electric. Can't tell us, it's more of like a highlighter yellow than an electric green, yeah, I would say. But she just looks so cute, she's got her phone, and her phone says order ready. the screen for the coffee shop and it says pick up order for Frankie and then all the coffees all the coffees in the order let's see we've got yeah we've got them all this one is for Twyla I think they couldn't get Laguna Blue a fucking coffee to save her life, okay? Honestly, Laguna could slit her throat and with her one last cap. Apologize for bleeding on your shirt. Because that's just who she is, okay? And they wouldn't even know that they'd be at the coffee shop together. They wouldn't know. But anyways, this bitch has her little silver dog. Honestly, I don't know if this is legal, but Deuce has his dog doing deliveries. Doing coffee deliveries. Okay. So, you need to think bigger. I'm assuming that it's Deuce for Medusa. I've thought about it this whole time I've been talking. And if I'm wrong, honey. <laughs> I know you'll tell me in the comments, so just let me know. But like, if this isn't Deuce for Medusa, what is anything?
think I've seen something like that. Just like my serotonin. I'm kidding. Okay. We've got to get into our girl, Coolia. Coolia, Coolia, Coolia. Coolia yelps in the video. <laughs> Who? And I just have questions. Coolia is very coolia because she's a skateboarder. Like Max Mayfield from Stranger Things. She also has a beanie and she likes... Oh, and the beanie has a brain on it. Okay. The attention to detail. The beanie has a brain. A brain on it. She's got a cute little swirly crawly backpack with blue and pink. She's got her hoots a lot. And she's got basically a Nintendo DS. And her... What are they called? Something buffs. Brain buffs. Okay, what is Coolia? Can ghouls eat brains? She no Draculaurus, the vampire. So she's definitely a ghost, right? Even her phone has a brain detailing. And her coat and her shirt. It's a lot of brain vibes. That's actually really cool. Her backpack is a blue brain um, instead of swirly curly. <laughs> anyway. Here we go. This is why we read the back. She's a, a zombie, not a ghoul, not a ghost. And I just feel like if you're gonna name her Ghoulia, Yelp. Like, people yelp as she eats their brain. Um, we could have done something with, like, a C. Zombelina. Rob Zombie's daughter. Like, we could have, we just... I don't know. It's not... Oh, look. Look who got the invite. Look who got added to the group text message on this day. Likely story. Um, if you don't know this about me or you're just new to the channel, welcome, first of all. But I am about like a year or two into my Monster High obsession. I didn't have these dolls growing up, so I love them. I think they're really cool, and it's totally my vibe, because I'm emo. But, um, I just feel really strongly about Laguna Blue being left out, um, because the back of her box is like, I'm a friend to everyone, and then the other ones are like, we're, I bet, like, Claudine's will be like, I'm besties with Draculaura and Frankenstein, and then, like, vice versa. With Within the three, none of them mention Laguna, and then the back of her box was like, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> no, it was like, I love being friends with everybody, and I was like, what is the deal? I made a TikTok about it, I was so upset. <laughs>
Okay, so she is a totally brainy zombie monster. And her must-haves are a skateboard and brain buffs. And her monster pet is a sir who hoots a lot. I almost said hoops. I don't think he's a basketball player. Anyway, speaking of my girl. She's like what my soul looks like, dude. I take it back. I don't Twilight's not my favorite. Um, she she just cannot be simply because of our girl Laguna. Okay. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at the teal and These are scales, but I'm not sure. Look at her legs, how cool. They're like skin to fin, skin to fin, honey. Skin to fin, we love to see it. Her little pet is Neptuna. This is a Splashtastic Sea Monster And her must-haves are her shell phone and kelp crisps Shell phone and kelp crisps Here they all are talking about her I just know it be so real with you. This fish, this fish, this fish right here, this one, look here, is not this. Okay. This is not this. And it looks like it's got Was hilarious if so. Her little like green and orange and black swimsuit is stunning to me. It's like it looks very much like designer. Father's son house of Gucci vibes. Okay. Let me pull this box. I'll tell you a little story time, bestie, about Entertainment Earth, about our good friends. Just kidding, I shouldn't say that. This video is not sponsored, and I would never work with Entertainment Earth, and I really don't purchase from them anymore either, like only if I can't get something anywhere else. They've really gone downhill and started slacking on shipping as well as listing stuff as pre-order is your boyfriend can you can you come get him no okay um, 
they'll list it as pre-order and you'll order it in like January, for example, and it'll say July 2023, um, ships, ships July 2023. So you do that and if you're like me, then you think about it every day until then and you like do a mental countdown in your head and you get really excited for it. And then like July will come and go and you'll check in August and it'll have pushed to December 2023 and I'm like get fucking for real like get actually real with me so this is Dracula that this is Dracula she's got the cutest fucking little pretzel I've ever seen it has eyeballs it's scared to be eaten, and that's just everything to me. Everything to me. So, obviously, Draculaura is a fantastic vampire. Her monster must haves are her SBF 500, 500, and her cherry juice. I don't want to scare you, but I don't think that's cherry juice. I really don't. I think it's human blood. Just to be real. And you know I am. She's got a cute little cape she's going to put on immediately. She's got a cute little much stolen from Fallout Boy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Pete Wentz, come get your girl, because... Wait, Pete? <laughs> um, and then, I do love that her bat is named Count Fabulous. Count Fabulous, Fabulous, Fabulous. Fabulous.
So, in the box, it's a little. anybody else. I was gonna say do that to someone else, but not me. Because <laughs> I have the time. I don't have the time, actually. Don't do it to anybody else. No excuses. Don't let it happen again. None of us have the time. But, like, I'll make the time when I'm paying over $100 for something. Like, this was, like, for all of these, like, $150-ish with shipping, and I waited. Like, I've specifically not been grabbing them at Target. <laughs> like, why am I doing business with you? So the box was all damaged and like crushed with a hole in it. Okay. When I say a hole, I mean a hole. And when I say crushed, I mean crushed. I mean, I'm not your box girl. Like, I'm not gonna like, lick it and tape it and, like, mesh it. Like, what? Like I'm not gonna get it, fix it for you and get it back into a pristine condition to return the items for you. So, you probably know where this is going. Um, and if you don't, stay tuned. But, um, essentially, only two of the dolls that were, like, at the bottom near where it had been crushed have box damage but if you were wanting to like display these like this okay i'm not like trying hard to balance her she's just flat on the bottom they were a little bit like i don't want to bend it but they were like a little bit eh, like crushed like a little bit warped and they wouldn't have probably stood up um, another thing is, is when you're entertainment, motherfucking earth, or hot topic, or funko, Ella, like if, if your thing is that you sell collectibles for adults and kids, but like for picky millennials, ship it well, like ship it with more than two sheets of this on, on top, uh, maybe a, a little bubble wrap on the bottom or something, um, just a little something, you know, so, basically, I reached out to them, nice, I was, I was nice, and I was like, hey, you know, here's the photos attached, the box is completely, I can't even, I should have refused delivery, but I was on a work call and trying to keep my dogs from barking at the delivery guy. Anyways, um, I can't believe that this was delivered this way or shipped this way. There's no, like, material. It was literally just two of those little white sheets that you saw. Um, the box is not in, in a condition to send this back. So, I'm going to need at least the damaged items replaced, and you'll need to provide a box and label for me to do that. Um, because call it law school, call it me taking contracts class, but our contract is especially like, okay, look, this isn't like a, it's not like a, an Etsy seller or a Mercari seller or something like somebody's, you know, small business. This is a big, big company that does lots and lots of business. So I'm like, first of all, you shouldn't have shipped it this way, but like, you know, anyways, here's the photos. Let me know. What do you want me to do? Because I'm not, I'm certainly not going to go buy a box. Um, and it's really hard to like, I don't want to like disrupt the vibes of the video, but like this is how big the box is. So, um, I'm certainly like call me Betty, but I'm not gonna go to Lowe's and spend like five or eight dollars on a giant ass box. Um, nor am I gonna pay to ship it back to you. I didn't 
didn't get a reply to my email. I kept following up in email. Long story short, I looked up their telephone number and I called. And you can kind of see on this Claudine a little bit of bend. But no big deal. Um, and basically, They don't have customer service. I don't know how to explain. It was the weirdest experience ever. It probably seems like I'm stalling, but as I remember it, I'm just like, God, that was... How do I even explain it? Um, I call and speak to somebody, and he just, as someone who's a hick, who's like from Tennessee, from Johnson City, Tennessee, and, um, those are my people. He was a th like, he just, I could tell he was, like, drinking a Mountain Dew on the back of his pickup truck, like, smoking a cig, not doing anything in the warehouse, because, love that for you, but, like, he, there's nothing wrong with Mountain Dew or trucks, by the way. What I'm trying to say is he was as rude as he could possibly be. Um, I was like, hey, I've been emailing. Like, he didn't even let me get a sentence out about what I've been emailing about. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, this is your number on Google. Is this not customer service? And he was like, this is the warehouse. So this is some guy packing boxes in the warehouse. And I really should have taken that opportunity to be like, hey, have you ever YouTubed how to ship something safely to somebody? And, you know, spoken to him. But it was, it was so weird. Here, here's an example. This is how the phone was answered. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. I'm driving, by the way. Hello. Uh, hi. Yeah. Is this entertainment earth? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm just calling. I've, I've been emailing for a couple weeks now. Okay. Is this entertainment earth the company? Yeah, can I help you? And I'm like, is this, like, I think I said something like, is this real or is there a customer service line or something? Because eventually he did transfer me to somebody else's line or something. And it was just a voicemail. So I left a voicemail and the person called back and they, look, I'm not trying to like bore you or anything. This is a Glossom werewolf slash human. Her musts are her for eliminator brush. So funny. It's a play on Ferminator. And Blue Moon Spookies. I guess that's a like a cookie. Blue Moon Spook Spooky? Spookies. I don't want to hear it. Um, and she likes owl puffs, which are like the brain puffs, but moon-shaped. And I just like all the details with Claudine. She is so pretty. Like her earrings, her eyes, everything. I love that her earrings are different. So, let me go ahead and grab somebody else and tell you the rest of the story, honey. We've also got Cleo Denial. And you know Denial is a river in Egypt. Yeah. Denial is a river in Egypt. If, if you didn't know. And this is Tut. Tut. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure name is Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen. Pharaoh, 
king Tutankhamen. So that's why I'm like, is it tut or toot? Because it's Tutankhamen. Anyway. Oh my god, Anubis. We love it. We love to see Anubis. Uh, I saw this TikTok. Now this was just to be silly, okay? Like, I'm not saying this is perfect humor or anything because there's a lot of real serious historical implications behind it and it's overall not okay to rob people's graves, you know? But I saw, I know, my ASMR videos are like, where are we going? What a ride. Um, the video, the TikTok was like, um, someone pretending to be a pharaoh and in the afterlife and was on a ship for a thousand years and finally got to check in at the afterlife and they were like do you have um you know this like do you have it was like did you remove all your organs do you have your heart and he's like giving it over and he's like and do you have your offerings to the gods and he like turns around and <laughs> looks at his ship and like all the golds and sar sarcophagus and like treasure and everything disappears and he's like and, like, the lady, like, backs away from, like, the gates of the afterlife or heaven or wherever. <laughs> it's, like, not, it's, there's humor because there's truth in it, but, like, that, that it's just, anyways, why did I tell you that? I don't know. Um, it's, like, actually crazy to think about the fact that that was just, like, their religion and nobody respected it and was like oh wow look what we found in here let's take it all like <laughs> you know now it's in a museum unfortunately which it's great to be able to see that stuff but um yeah it was like buried with them for a reason it was part of their religion so i just think that's it's actually crazy when you sit there and think about it from their perspective and what if that is the reality like that afterlife um what like are you kidding me anyway we've ranted about everything but entertainment earth it seems so the guy was like, okay, so what we'll do is you ship them all back to us and then we'll replace them all. And at this point, for me, that's going to be a no. Just to quote Simon Cowell, that's going to be a no for me, bud. Um, or was that Randy? It's going to be a no for me, dog. Um, I think that was... They've probably both said it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I, ke I kept explaining the box is completely crushed on one end. So, it's not going to make it to you. Um, I can tape over the hole, sure. But the box is still likely going to fall apart in transit. Um, due to, like, how bad it's actually Rushed. It's really not the hole I'm worried about. It's that this is, it's pretty durable cardboard and it is crushed. So the dolls are already, two of them are already like on the bottom, a little bit bent and damagey vibes. Um, I like they're going to all probably get completely crushed going back to you. And I also need to know, like, how long that's going to take, how we're going to do that, because I have really waited, um, you know, months at this point for these dolls, and they're on the shelves elsewhere. You know, I paid you, like, $22 or $24.99 each for them, um, and you're wanting me to now, like, are you going to send me a shipping label? The answer was no. Um, are you going to send me a new box? The answer was no. Uh, how am I then, like, am I going to have to pay to send it with, like, signature to you? Like, how am I going to 
confirm that you even get them back or like is it on me if you don't get them back like mm -mm, i went to law school and i really don't have time for that that shit um because the way that's supposed to work is like this is a contract i paid for these items you promised to sell them to me for this price so we did that i paid for shipping paid, waited for the pre-order um Yes, some of it is on the carrier, which surprisingly is it was UPS or FedEx. Um, so very surprising that that happened. But also, not that surprising if you don't mark it fragile, you don't say this side up, and you put, again, two pieces of paper inside with all of these dolls. These are collectibles. For me, they can be toys. They can be friends. They're also friends for me. Um, but they, like, look, I'm, I'm not ordering these for a three-year-old to give them to, okay? They're for mama. Me. I'm the baby and the mama. And fix it. <laughs> so anyways, we went back and forth a little bit. And I was like, look, this has overall been a really disappointing and weird experience. I've spent hundreds of dollars with you guys in the past couple of years. He like immediately, as I'm saying this, starts, has to be, like starts looking up my um, phone number or something because I was like, you know, my husband and I order from you all the time. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to just provide the photos to my bank and take it up with them and get refunded on the two dolls that are crushed because I'm certainly not going to use this box and, like, have anything else be on me. And I'm certainly not going to go buy a box, honey, for, again, my $150 order. So, no, I'll just get refunded on the two and... Thanks so much. Have a great life. Uh, and he was like, all right, you do that. I'm on the phone with USAA, who is quite wonderful about that sort of thing and investigating. Um, by the way, by the way, by the way. Let's look at her outfit really quick. Anubis, I would pay between $50 and $100 for a real coffee cup like that. Do any of y'all make coffee cups, tumblers, or anything? Because that is sick. And her, something about this is just everything to me. I don't know why. I, I love, um, that's why probably I watch Ancient Aliens, and I love everything about it. Um, and I love Ancient Egypt. I think it's really cool. I get a lot of Egyptian info, TikToks in my For You page. Um, and yeah, I'm into it. And then her booties are kind of like mummy booties. Mummy wrap. Anybody else? A big fan of Giorgio and Ancient Aliens. Okay. We read about her, right? 
she's a fabulous royal mummy and it's fabulous royal mummy um her must have is a sarcophagus <laughs> anubis sarcophagus and her pyramid backpack so cute But not least, of course, we've got our girlfriend. So it's on the phone with USA. And I get a call from a random cell phone number. And what do you know? Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I'm like all over the place. As I'm like telling him, I'm just going to take it up with my bank and not deal with it. And he's like, yeah, do it. He also said... You have not spent hundreds of dollars with us between 2020 and 2022. You spent 200, and, like he had the exact amount, exact amount, <sighs> 200 something dollars is hundreds of dollars, bestie. <sighs> are you, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Um, anything else would be a hundred of dollars. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I get a call from a random cell phone number, and what do you know? Who is it? Other than that guy's boss, a female. He's probably had it up to here with all of their fucking bullshit. Um, and I was like, hey, I was just gonna just, I was just on the phone with my bank disputing the charge, um, so I don't need anything. I'm very lucky to have that experience, but also have a bank that is wonderful like USAA and I would never ever take advantage of that. They're phenomenal and I only have it because I'm married to the son of somebody who's in the military. So that's, that's how I got in. Um, and Frankie Stein is a voltageous Franken monster. Her mess are her eye coffin, her iPhone, and her screech saw. Her screech saw. It has spiders on the pizza. That's all you, girl. Her little phone. Oh my gosh. I, no, that's not even her purse. That's her little camera, bestie. And oh my god, and it's got Polaroids coming out of it. I have a little Insta. got more of the blue, pink, yellow, and black plaid, but it's just like a different vibe and different outfit than in this other set, so I am glad that I got her because I feel like it's really cute and different. Uh, but anyways, she was <laughs> very apologetic and wanted to make it right, and um, she did try to talk to me a little bit about like I can just ship it back in the box. And I was like, no, I would not show up to USPS, UPS, or FedEx with a, with a three-sided box. And then most of one of the corners inside, short sides is taped. And it's also literally instead of like, you know, straight across, like a, a rectangle shape, it's it's, I just know, like, so, she apologized for everybody and told her what it was like calling the number from Google, um, and she was like, I'm gonna have him call you back and apologize and process the new order for you. And I was like, okay, you can do that, but I'm still going to dispute it with my bank and you guys can just take it up with them because um, I don't even like really believe you at this point that I'll get email confirmation or if this phone call will even be professional, cordial, reasonable. 
so he called back and he sure did apologize and he sure did have an attitude and so I just I was like okay thanks so much and called USAA back finish the claim anyways long story short I did get the box actually within less than a week from Entertainment Earth of the new mint condition box lots of bubble wrap and paper and mint condition dolls that don't have like bending on the bottom now again not all of them had that but when a third of the order has it like more and like you just don't ship it the way it should be shipped I don't have time for your bullshit so that is the story of how I wound up with a few extra monster high dolls if they would have just sent me an, em an empty box and a shipping label we'd, we'd be having a different story we wouldn't have Mercari listings um, but I'm certainly not going to like, do your job for you you know not as the customer and you guys I'm not saying to treat like your barista or drive through cashier that way I'm saying don't take shit from like a collectibles company or like a big business like Amazon for example that's another thing I got my Chloe Bailey as Ariel my live action Ariel doll in the mail today from Amazon they shipped it in one of those brown paper bags my eyes twitching now that I've said that because it's just it boggles the mind why would you do my girl Chloe like that? AKA Chloe Bailey. Stop. That's Beyonce's daughter. Like my eyes twitching so bad. Um, she's crushed on the bottom, completely crushed. And I'm just at this point after this experience and like how Amazon is, I'm like, do I even want to? Oh my god. Do I even want to return it? You know? Do I want to deal with it at all? Because I will probably take her out of the box, but I was gonna do a tingly video and like tap on her and show you guys. So, I don't know. This has been my Monster High updated collection. And my little announcement to go check my Mercari. Um, I really tried to just list oh and then I accidentally also bought Claudine and Frankie I don't know there's a couple that I accidentally had three of so they're not all the entertainment earth ones on there um because I just was in this weird part of the week where I hadn't gotten the entertainment earth like reshipment confirmation email I hadn't heard anything from them since the phone calls and I just wanted to make sure that I had mint condition dolls and boxes so there's a couple that I had three of so um, if you see multiples like if you see the lot and then you see some of the single dolls that I listed that's that's not part of the same that's different dolls I wouldn't do you like that um, and I tried to list them for super reasonable prices, like $13 with free shipping. So that actually is $5 off the in-store price, free shipping. So it's like you get it in store and I only make like 10 bucks from it, which I'll use for what shipping. So I really won't make anything off of them. I just want you guys to have them whoever wants them. It's all yours on Mercari. Um, they take a seller fee too. Like they take, I think it's like 10% of whatever you're selling is selling. So if you're selling some of them for 80 bucks, they're going to take $8 and then like fees and all this other stuff. But I'm really, really excited that I worked out like this because now so much for your time for 
loving dolls and nostalgic things and collectibles with me. Laguna Blue, 